Hi guys, got another toy review, and today we're looking at another Mike Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Titanus. This thing is huge, and I can't put this on the table because it's just too big the box. And my brother's holding it for me. So, here's the front packaging. Looking really nice, and this is the carrier solo with the, this is the other Megazord, and... Man, uh, obviously it's from Zoo Ranger, obviously. They copped it exactly like Tony Show from my more friends, Zoo Ranger. And, uh, yeah, and it's got tank mode. You can see there. There you go. Metallic paint and die cast parts. Saban's my more Power Rangers. Bandai. Check the side packaging. And this take the status of it. This thing is heavy, man. Then you can combine it to create the ultras, or I will do that later on. Check the other side packaging and taste the story again. And then back packaging. Here we go. Posable neck, metallic paint, and die cast parts. And combine to create the Ultra Zord. Each so separately. So we're going to take a little break, guys, and see what we get, shall we? Okay, guys, I finally took out the packaging. And this thing is a beast, man. I cannot believe it. It's just like, wow. <laughs> so this is the first mode. Um, the Carrier Zord, the, the, tit the Titanus. And uh yeah. Um uh, first space I'm just gonna talk about the paint application articulation and uh we go into that. So um I will need, need some assistance. Okay, we're just gonna go over here. Bear with us guys. Okay. This thing is huge. Okay, so yeah, so we're just gonna look at how big this thing is. So uh, yeah, so the paint application is just no, kind of, um, it's not blind obviously, but obviously it's got a nice white paint application obviously, um, a bit of grey, a lot of grey in fact, white, gold, black, green, and you can see the Z from Zoo Ranger. And red paint application. Turn around, turn around. You can see the Dragon's Old symbol. We'll see. More symbols over here. Really, how they really detailed in the tail. Uh, obviously, they're all in separate pieces. You have to uh, put it on to get it to yourself, even the chain itself. So, yeah. Turn around, turn around. And uh, this thing is a beast. Look at that. And you can see the wheels, obviously. Left and right. And you have to disconnect the foot. Oh, man, it's coming off. So, yeah, this thing... Oh, there's a lot of plastic on it and die cast parts, so it's going to have a lot of issue. So, but, yeah, but look at the head sculpt on it. It looks amazing. Nice paint application. Nice top... A black paint application as well so really cool I really like that um, so so we're gonna go into articulation we'll see we just got articulation so his neck it's got a nice some nice rotation obviously you can go up down left right he can go anywhere and his articulation is so not so great because it's all stiff obviously and there's no articulation on the on the tail unfortunately so it's just it's just a one piece off you know and uh, yeah I forgot to show this no I think I already showed this so so yeah so that's kind of disappointing but in, the, in these legs they're separate pieces and but the legs do move if you, if you move the the reels it looks like he's moving so yeah that's pretty cool 
Okay, now now we're gonna go to the tank mode, and we're gonna go to that second step. So bear with this, guys. Okay, guys, I finally did that uh, tank mode. It's kind of tedious um, how they did this. Um, so I know something doesn't seem right, but that's how it's showing. This is showing instructions. It doesn't show an instruction. It just shows the um, for the first step, and it just shows the the ultra. What's it called? Ultra zone. It doesn't show for that, but it shows for ultra. So it didn't show tank mode. So it's kind of pointless. So here we go. It's fucking useless. But this is tank mode now. And uh, it goes into this state now, um, but the tail has become um, cannons now, and uh, and once you do that, you take this off, put this down. Let me show you. And it just looks like that, like a. It looks kind of stupid, but I'm not gonna display it like this, of course, and. Uh, yeah. Oh, see. It does move though. You can get the point. And there's more detail inside. We put in the last of the stages. Oh, see. And I forgot about the chains. The chains are in gold. So, pretty cool. Mind the lights. So. Pretty cool, nice detail inside as well. Look at that. Really nice. So that's about it. I'm kind of disappointed on it, but that's how it is. And you have to take the foot, obviously. And the can the cannons, you just have to put this on the slatch on. It's kind of difficult, but you have to put it in a swiftly pace. So yeah. Um. But yeah, that's about it. And you take this off, obviously, and put it up. And you get tank mode. And you have to put that down. And yeah, that's about it. So, we're going to take a little break again. And we're going to go to Ultra Zone now. So, we're just going to wrap this up and do the last stages. Okay, guys. Go closer, man. I can't see. Okay, guys, we finally did it. We finally did. What's it called again? The Ultra Zord. The Ultra Zord. Uh, finally did it. It was an absolute to do it. But we finally did it. One second. So. So first of all, you have to detach the Dragazord and the Megazord, put them together, da 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 da, and you put the extra piece there, the the Titanus font piece, put the chains on the arms, and there's a like an open slash ring to hold it. Then you put the tank mode again, put that on, disconnect the Dragazord shield. You have to. Put that piece down, obviously. Then after, um, it should something look something like this. Um, the bad thing is, it doesn't hold properly. There's too much plastic and die cast in it, so it looks like um, the dragons are strangling Titanus. But he's all good, and you have to open the. The latch part for the the Titanus, obviously, and you have to put the Megazord inside. So it's a bitch to hold. So this is the side view, obviously. The other side. And you put the two black pieces by two girls for the for the Ruby's sake. It's not really useful. <sighs> 
So, um. <sighs> what do I like about this toy? Um. Um. Just the 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 titanus, the ultra. So this is ridiculous. It's just, uh, it's just re really redundant and and doing the dragon shield on the front piece of the titanus. It it doesn't go down. I think I got a faulty one. So I feel like I was gonna break it, but luckily it didn't. So I got some help on on YouTube just in case if I did it right. And uh, I think. Did an okay job on it, but uh, but yeah, um, man, I'm kind of sad. I thought the the Tokyo Rainbow, the Hyper Tokyo, was difficult. Oh my gosh. So yeah, um, so yeah, we'll just finish this up now. Um, but it does move. Move it a little bit. Move it. It does move. See. So. Look like he's moving it. One second. <sighs> Got intruded. So, um, what I like about it. like yeah, like I said, uh, I always like the first form. When you do the tank mode, it's okay, but when you do the ultra zone. It's just ridiculous, man. It just puts too much weight to the toy, and it's die cast. It doesn't hold it that well nicely, so. You know, but it does look nice though, and uh, if you want to display it like this, or display it in tank mode, or display it in the Titanic mode, the first form, then go ahead and display it like that, but I really, I won't display it, display it like that. The Ultra Zone, it's not worth it. And, uh, yeah. Um, because I never got the, the original one, the toy version, and obviously this is the Legacy Toys. And uh, yeah, so so I'm gonna wrap this up now. Um, so sub rate, comment, add, and share. Follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook fan page, and yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, um, this way re was kind of hard for me to do it because my brother he didn't listen to me that well. I'm kind of pissed at him, but but I did the review though, so it's all done now. And uh, yeah, so we got two more legacy uh, Power Rangers, my Power Rangers. We got the the Cyber Sword that's coming next month, and we got um, the Legacy Tiger Sword uh, that's coming next year, unfortunately. And that's about it. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Peace and more to come.